Earlier this week, Playboy magazine's online site unleashed a vile attack on some well-known American women, featuring Michelle Malkin, Elizabeth Hasselbeck, Laura Ingram, yours truly, and others. Writer Guy Simbalo generates what some are calling a, quote, rape list, naming 10 women he deems, quote, conservative, and arguing that they generate a desire for hate sex among men. The bulk of this piece is devoted to crude attacks. This would be too pathetic to even comment on if it were not coming from a major American publication like Playboy. To their credit, conservative and liberal bloggers alike, many female, have expressed outrage over the piece. And many of you, our viewers, have indicated that you intend to cancel your subscriptions to Playboy. Playboy.com soon pulled the piece, and we reached out to the magazine to ask, one, why this attack was allowed to appear in the first place, and two, what the consequences will be for Mr. Simbalo. Here is Playboy's response in full. Quote, Playboy has a long and proud history of supporting women's organizations and has been an advocate of equal rights for women since its inception more than 55 years ago. The feature on Playboy.com was by no means intended to insinuate or encourage violence against women, something the organization adamantly abhors. It has been removed from the site, end quote. It didn't mean to encourage violence against women. That's it. How about encouraging hate, intolerance, misogyny? Our viewers can make their own judgments about Playboy, but in my view, this is not the act of a publication that respects women in any way, whatever their politics happen to be. Well, amen.